Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Autos. In this video, we'll be showing you Timu Marketplace, the ultimate guide. So, we have a lot of topics here to discuss, so let's start with how to download, install, and use Timu app on PC. So, we all know that Timu is available on browsers whenever you're using your PC. But what if you want to use their official application on your PC? Well, it's actually pretty simple, but we'll need to install a third-party application for us to start using Timu on our PC. So, this application is actually called BlueStacks. So, you can go ahead and go to your browser, just type in BlueStacks here, and you should be able to see the BlueStacks website, which is bluestacks.com. Now, in here, what we need to do, just click on download BlueStacks here and just follow the steps on installing it. Just go ahead and open up the .exe file that you'll be downloading from the download button here. And once it actually installed, you should be able to see this section here that says BlueStacks. Now, once in here, let's go ahead and double click on it and this should actually open up this specific UI here. Now, from here, what we need to do next is just go to the lower left here and you should see the app player section. So, let's go ahead and click on it to open up our app player. So, for now, it's going to boot up. So, in this case, let's wait for it to boot up. And once it actually boots up, I'll be showing you how to access Dimu in Timu inside the application itself. Now, once it actually properly boots up, what we need to do next is we need to look for Google Play Store. So, go to the system app section here. Click on Play Store, and since this is the first time that you are open up a Google Play Store here, it's going to prompt you to log in. So enter your, your email address as well as your password to log in, and you should be able to see the usual UI for Google Play Store. Now from here, let's go to the search the apps and section here, and let's just type in Timu. And once we enter that, just click on Enter, and you should be able to see the Timu shop like a bill in there, and just click on Install. Now, once the installations, uh, installation is complete, you can go ahead and just go back to your homepage by clicking on the home section here. And from then, you should be able to open up a team here. So for now, let's just wait for it to uh, finish downloading and let's open it up once it's finished. So once it's finished installing, let's go ahead and open up Timu here. And from here, you could just basically start using Timu as you would on your mobile phone. And that's about it. How to become a new user on Timu. In this case, the first thing you want to do here is you want to open up your Timu mobile app here. And from here, you want to go to the U tab at the very bottom center of your screen. Now, from here, what we need to do next is we need to click on the settings icon at the top right of your screen. And from here, what we need to first guarantee is we've actually set the correct country and region as well as the correct currency for our account. So, in this case, if you are in the US, make sure to check, uh, set this to the US or USD currency here. But once you've done that, go ahead and click on the switch accounts option here and you'll have the option that says add account. Let's go ahead and click on it. Now, from here, what we need to do next is we now need to indicate how we want to create our account. So, in this case, you could go ahead and do this manually by entering an email address here that you want to use, or you could use the following options. So, that includes Google, Facebook, and X. So, in this example, I'm going to use X here. And from here, we want to go ahead and choose our email address. Now, once you've done that, that should actually ask us to enter our phone number here. So, if you haven't entered your phone number. In this case, once you've submitted the uh, phone number here, you should be able to log in into your account, as you can see right now. Now, in this case, you could go ahead and go back to your settings here, and you could go ahead and click on switch accounts again. And from here, you should be able to switch over to your first account and still use it in your same device. And that's about it. How to make a new team account on the same device. So for you to create a new team account on the same device, well, the first method I'll be showing you is just basically signing out from your account. So go ahead and open up Timu here and we want to go to the U tab. And from here under settings, when you click on it, you'll see the sign out option. So let me click on that and just click on not now and sign out. In here, we have the option to register and sign in. So if you want to create another account, you could go ahead and just register again. But if that's not the case and you want to use a Timo account with another Timo account, like for example, you have we want to instances of Timo open up on your device. Well, this one is kind of tricky. So the settings for it depends on your phone itself. 
Now let's for now let's just hit on continue. So here let's exit the app. So what we need to do here is we need to access our settings. So go ahead and locate settings, open it up, and from here it's just scroll down a bit until you see apps there. And from here, some phones actually have the feature that says dual apps. So if that feature is available on your phone, then you are in luck. So go ahead and open that up. And from here, what we need to do is basically search for Timu. So let's just search for Timu here real quickly and turn this setting on. So icon added to home screen. So what it does is actually copies the Timu mobile application. As you can see right now, I have two instances of Timu on my mobile phone. Now, whenever I open up this other copy of Timu, it's going to uh, boot up. And from here, this is going to be the separate one that I already have on my mobile phone. So when I go to you here, as you can see, it's going to say sign in and register. So when I open up my other Timu here, as you can see, this is my name here and this is my account how to get new user discount on Timu. So the first thing you want to do here is we want to open up Timu and from here we want to visit a few things here so that we'll be able to get those new discount or new user discounts. Well first things first is we need to open up the U tab here at the very bottom center of your screen and from here you should be able to see the option that says earn credits and free gifts. Now the option for earn credits and free gifts, uh, gifts can actually depend on your current region. So for example, if you're in the United States, most likely you'll get this option here. But for other countries, you might or you might not get this option. But then again, if you do have this option, great for you. So go ahead and click on earn credits and free gifts. Now, in this case, depending on your region, you'll have the option to choose one of the following ways of getting free gifts or earn credits, which in this case, we first have the five items for zero dollars. In this case, you could get five items for free, just adding five items. Now, you also have the win freebies here, Fishland Redeem Credits. Now, each of these options here that you see have a specific rule. So you need to follow a few things here for you to get those free items or freebies for your account now in this case this is one of the way to get those new user discounts on Timu now if you already have like for example a discount code that you could use so you could go ahead and go back to your uh, page here and you want to actually go to coupons and offers now in here you just need to enter your coupon code just click on apply and that would actually apply that and use that into your account now you also have this window here in the checkout page so in this case uh, you should be able to start using those coupons and that's about it how can i get free stuff on Timu. Now, in this case, you want you are wondering how to get those free stuff on Timu. Well, to get those free stuff, there are actually multiple ways to get it. So, in this case, all those ways are via the platform itself. So, it's actually there. You just need to search for it. So, in this case, you could actually get free stuff through the use of links uh, or invite links by other people. Now, if you use their links, they will actually, or this will actually redirect you to another page, which in this case allows you to get a coupon that you could use for your next shopping spree. Now, as you can see, I could get like around 5,000 or 100 uh, US dollars. So it depends on your current region. So in this case, for you to utilize this one, you need to actually use the code that you see on your screen. Or in this case, you need to copy or in this case, scan the QR code for you to install the Timo app on your mobile device. But this code or this link is only available for new users. So if you're, you're a new user, make sure to utilize or make or in this case, maximize the use of this link so in this case once in your link you should or once you've actually installed the team app you should be able to start using that specific coupon or coupon bundle for your account now another way for you to actually get a free stuff on Timu is to actually just start buying. So as you can see, whenever you click one of the items on Timu here, as you can see, it only it already gives you like discounts on the shipping. As you can see, free shipping on all orders. So in this case, this is an exclusive offer for people in the app itself. So in this case, you could go ahead and add items into your cart. And once you've added items into your cart, you could go ahead and just click on checkout here to basically check out. As you can see, I have a lot of discounts on the items I have right now. Already in the first item here is around 58% less, which is a lot if you're going to ask me. Now, the item here is around 67%. So, yeah, 
So in this case, make sure to maximize and use the links or the freebies or the codes that you see online and that's about it. How to enter referral code on Timu. So for us to actually enter our referral code in Timu, first thing we need to do here is we need to open up the application itself. Now it's also recommended that you update Timu consistently so that you get the latest updates and updates on the application itself because sometimes a few things here changes. Now in this case, once you open up Timu here, the next thing that we want to do is we need to access the U tab, which is located at the bottom center of your screen. Now from here, what we need to do next is we need to look for the coupon and offer section. So typically, it's going to be at the center section of your screen. So go ahead and click on it. Now, once you're in here, you should be able to see uh, different tabs in the coupons and offers. Now we have unused, use, and expired. So in this UI, you should be able to see the coupons or offers that you've previously had on your account. Now, if you want to add a new uh, code here, which in this case is going to be a referral code, you want to go ahead and go to the unused section or tab. And from here, just enter your code or the referral code here and hit on apply. And you should be able to use that referral code on Timu. How to redeem Timu coupon code. So first thing that we want to do here is we need to access the Timu mobile application. Now, in this case, this is the main UI for Timu. So what we need to do is we need to go to the U tab, which is located at the bottom center of your screen. Now, in this case, you will be able to see different options here. But what we're looking for is the coupons and offer section. So you see that underneath the your views option. So go ahead and click on coupons and offers. Now, in this case, we have a three tabs here for coupons and offers. We have unused, use and expired. Now, if you want to apply a new coupon in your account, what you need to do is just enter your coupon code here. And once you've entered that, just hit on apply and you'll be able to apply that. Now, if you want to uh, see the use coupons, go to the use tab here. If you want to uh, see the expired coupons, go to expired. And from there, you should be good. And that's about it. How to get a big discount on Timu. Now, in this case, you might be new to Timu here and you're wondering, how do you get those big discounts you see online? Well, getting them is actually fairly easy. Now, you can get them via the app itself. So, typically, they have a section here that says uh, credit uh, or coupons and offers here. And specifically in the app itself, you have the option to basically earn and play some games. So, in this case, you might want to use that. But in this case, it just offers you free items. But how do you get those big discounts in Timu? Well, you could actually get them from links that actually are other people that actually invite you within the platform itself. This might come in a for in the form of like, for example, a code or in this case, a link. So in this case, you could actually visit our comment and our description here. We actually have a link that you could use there for the discount itself. So in this case, I already have a link on mine. So go ahead and copy that and paste it into your browser. Now, it should give you the option here that says uh, coupon bundle, which in this case gives you around 5,000 Philippine peso. Now, it actually depends on your current region on how much you could get on that specific coupon bundle. But in this case, you need to copy the code or in this case, scan the QR code on your phone and get the Timu app on your phone in order for you to utilize or get this bundle or in this case, the uh, discount on Timu here. So by the way, this only applies for new users as you can see new app users only so in this case if you're a new user and you're looking to get those coupon bundles or just have a shopping spree this is how you do it how to use someone's code on timu so first things first is we need to go to timu.com log in into account and from here we need to look for orders and account which is typically at the top right of your screen so this case go ahead and hover over it and you should be able to see your typical settings here but what you're looking for is going to be the coupons and offer section let's go ahead and click on it now in here you should be able to see different tabs here we have unused use and expired now, the unused section allows you to view the unused coupons that is in your account. Now, use section from the name itself, use coupons. Now, we also have the expired coupons here. Now, if you want to apply your coupon or someone's code on Timu, you just need to add the code in here. So, if you're looking for a code, make sure to check out our comment and description. Now, once you've added the coupon here, go ahead and click on apply here. And that should apply or use someone's code. <laughs> 
that's about it. How to use Timu $100 coupon bundle. Now in this case, let's go ahead and go to Timu here, log in. And the first thing that you want to do here is we first need to add our coupons. Now to add our coupons, typically you need to go to orders and account here and you want to go to coupons and offer. Now from here, you should be able to enter your coupon, which in this case, if you apply your coupon here, you could actually use it when you actually check out. But there are actually multiple ways on using a coupon here. So for example, if you don't want to use it in here and you want to directly use it on a order that we already have here, well, it's actually quite different. So let's go ahead and go back to the main menu here. Now, first things first, add your items. So in this case, there might be some minimal value that you might need to meet for you to get or receive your products. So in this case, go ahead and start adding those products. And once you've added your products, let's go ahead and click on the checkout or go to cart button at the top right of your screen. Now in the cart section, you want to indicate all the items that you want to add here. But once you've added all, all those items, you can go ahead and click on the checkout button at the top right here. And it should give you the details here. Now, the most important section here is going to be the enter coupon code at the top right of your screen. Now, in here, you can go and enter your coupon code. So, by the way, make sure to check our description and comment section and for you to use later on. So, if I'm not mistaken, Timu actually gives you uh, coupons that actually gives or actually gives you like $100 as a means of uh, spending on Timu. So, in this case, you can go and enter your coupon here click on apply and that should do it for you. Timu exclusive deals. How do you navigate to Timu deals? So in this case, you might be wondering, how do you get those exclusive deals in Timu? Well, it's actually pretty easy and you could get them from different people. Like for example, our comment section. We actually have a link there that you could use for an exclusive deal that you might want to leverage. Now in this case, go ahead and copy that link and you wanna open up your browser here and paste the link itself. Now it will show you the exclusive deal for the Timu platform here, which in this case for you to utilize it, you need to actually scan the QR code that you see on your screen. So in this case, this QR code would actually scan, which in this case will actually uh, download or lead you or redirect you to the download page for the Timu app. Now in this case, let's go and switch over to our phone and see if we could get or leverage this specific deal here. And we are now in our phone. So for us to fully utilize the QR code, we want to open up our scanner here and we want to actually scan the QR code that you see on your screen. Let's go and scan that and let's go and click on to go to website. Now in this case, once you've done that, it should give you the download link. Let's go ahead and click on the download button here. Should open up Timu. Go ahead and click on install and wait for the installation to complete. Now, once the download is complete, you should now be able to see the exclusive deal now in your screen. Now, you can go and leverage that, add that to your card, and you should be able to start using it. And that's about it. How to make a wishlist on Timu. So, creating your wishlist on Timu is actually pretty easy. So first thing that you need to do here is you need to make sure that you have the latest updates on Timu. Now in this case, you could go ahead and go to Google Play Store, search for Timu and see if there are any updates and install it. Now in this case, I want to open up Timu here. So let's just look for Timu here and open it up. Now from here on the Timu application, what we need to do first is we need to look for an item that we want to add to our wish list. Now in this case, maybe we have this item here. Let's go ahead and click on it. And typically at the top right of your screen, you should be able to see the magnifying glass, a glass as well as the save or share option at the top right. Now in this case, typically at the top right here, you should be able to see a heart icon. But for some users like me, you will not be able to see the heart icon because currently for some users, it is not available. But in this case, if it's, it is actually available for your account, just hit on that heart icon. And if you want to view your wish list, you just need to go back into the homepage, go to the use section, and usually you should be able to see the section that says your wish list or wish list in this menu here. Now, in this case, if the option for saving or creating a wish list is not available to you, there are a few things to possibly fix this issue. So first thing is you have to ensure, again, make sure that you have the latest updates and you might want to try going to Timu here, press and hold on it, go to app info. And from here, you want to go to the clear data at the bottom right, 
click on create crash and just click on OK. So this will not typically affect your account as it only clears up the temporary data that is under Timu. Now, once you've done that, you could go ahead and open up Timu again and see if that solves your issue. But again, only some users have this option and if you don't have this one that will be kind of fortunate but if it is actually available for your account you could go ahead and use it and that's about it how to fix wishlist don't show up with me on timu so first thing that we need to do here is we need to change a few things here as well as update our timu mobile application now in this case go ahead and exit timu here and from here press and hold on timu and from here you want to go to app info now under app info, what we need to do is click on the clear data option there. And from here, click on clear cache and click on OK. So what we did there is we basically cleared our temporary data or temporary files under Timu. Now in this case, this will not affect your account in what way, but in this case, sometimes clearing your cache here could actually help or solve some problems you're experiencing on the application itself. Now once you've done that, you need to go to Google Play Store, open it up, type in Timu here so just type in Timu and from here you want to make sure that you have the latest update for Timu as of right now as you can see we have an update button there just click on update here and just wait for it to update and open up Timu again and see if that solves your issue how to use Timu credit balance so first things first is we need to go to timu.com log in into your account and from here we first need to start adding our items so there are going to be a lot of items that we could add here so in this case go ahead and browse them by categories or even add them as you want now in this case so once you've added all the items that you want here like for example you want to add a specific item here you can go ahead and click on the add to cart button here and you need to choose the design itself let's go and choose one and click on add now once you've done that we should be able to see the checkout or go to cart at the top right of your screen let's go ahead and click on the go to cart option now from here you could go ahead and select all the items that you want to check out let's go ahead and select them and click on check out now from here it should give you the specific details for your order so you might also need to provide your shipping details as well and some contact information before you could proceed with the next page now also in this page you could add like all coupons if you want so in this case you could go and leverage uh any coupons that you have now from here you could go to the payments method section which in this case if you do have some credit balance on your team account it should appear in this section here as you can see i don't have any option on that right now because right now i don't have any credit balance on my team account but if you do have one you should be able to use or in this case leverage or use the credit balance on your account by selecting that and just click on clicking on the submit order for you to confirm your order once you've done that you should be good how to buy timu gift card so first things first is we need to open up timu here and from here we want to go to the home page so in the home page you should be able to see the search bar at the very top let's go ahead and click on it and you want to type in the following which is going to be gift card now once you've done that go ahead and click on search and you should be able to see different gift card options for your account now the, in this case this might differ for you depending on your current region now now in this case you go ahead and select the gift card that you want to buy so in this case let's go ahead and select one by clicking on the item itself now from here you could go ahead and indicate the pieces that you want to buy here but once you're sure here just click on add to card and from here you could go ahead and click on the go to card button at the bottom right now in this case you go ahead and select all the items that you want to include so if you want to include a specific item it should have a, ne a check next to it now in this case once you've actually added all the items so uh, make sure to note here that there are going to be minimum order amount on your uh, account here so once you've selected them you could go and click on checkout here just provide all the entire details as well as your payment method but once you provide all the details and click on the submit order button you should now be able to place your order and you should now be good how to play games on timu for free stuff so timu is an application or a platform that actually offers you games that you could use or just start playing for you to earn free products or even get coupons or even earn now in this case first thing that we need to do here is we need to update timu to the latest version for us to get the latest games now in this case go ahead and open up google play store here search for timu and see if there are any updates 
Now, once you've updated it, go ahead and open up Timu. Now, from here, what we need to do next is we need to go to the U tab, which is located at the bottom section. Now, from here, you should see an option that says earn free gifts and cash. Now, in this case, if you don't see that option, then most probably the current region for your account is not or does not support games. Now, in this case, incidentally, like for example, you've set your account to a different region, like for example, you're in the Philippines or in you're in the US, you want to change this to a different one. What you need to do is click on the gear icon or the settings icon at the top right. And from here, click on country and region and from here, choose your region accordingly. Again, depending on your regions, there, go, there are going to be games that is going to be available and might not be available. Now for now, let's just go back and from here, we want to click on the earn free gifts and cash. Now, in this page, you will be able to see different games. Like right now, for example, we have five free gifts, Christmas freebies, Redeem Cash, Fishland, and Refer and Earn, which is a referral program for Timu. Now in this case, go ahead and choose the game that you want to play. Like for example, let's go ahead and choose the Christmas freebies here. Now from here, it's going to give us an in uh, instructions and even steps that you could do here to complete the game. Like for example, we add, need to add a GIF here. Let's go ahead, and go ahead and click on pick and from here hit on continue to add that into our products. And from here on, just start playing and you should be good. How to win Timu Farmland. So first things first is we have to ensure that you're part with the Timu application itself. So we need to sign up. So if you haven't registered yet, head over to the Timu website or mobile application and during the registration process, provide accurate personal details and contact information. Remember, email and phone verifications are a must for completing your registration. Now, Another thing that you should keep in mind is the completion of KYC verification or Know Your Customer Verification. Now, once registered, take the next steps by completing the KYC verification and submit the necessary documents and details as requested on the Timu platform. Now, this step is mandatory for participations in their games. Now that you're officially part of the Timu community, make sure to be active to be an active user and use your team account for at least three months. Now you need to engage in purchases and transactions to build up a lifetime spending of $500 or more. The more you spend, the higher your chances of winning. Now, you also need to keep at, out an eye for the Timu Special Lucky Draw coupons listed on its deal page. Now, depending on your budget and eligibility, purchase any Lucky Draw coupon. And remember, more spending increases your chances of winning. Now, each Lucky Draw coupon you purchase provides a specific number of entries as mentioned on the coupon details. So the more entries you have, the better your chances of winning. Now, higher value coupons often come with more entries, so choose wisely. Now, with everything in place, now comes the exciting part. Now, keep an eye out for Timu's announcement for the lucky draw date. So, typically, it's revealed on one to two weeks in advance, and the mark or you should mark the date on your calendar and stay tuned for the shot at amazing prices. But that's about it. We have to invite friends on Timu app. So first thing that we need to do here is we need to open up the Timu application. Now from here, what we need to do next is we need to go to the U tab, which is located at the bottom center of your screen. Now from here, what we need to do next is we need to go to earn credits and free gifts. So by the way, if you don't see this option here, there's a possibility that this option or this feature is not supported on your current country. Now for you to change to the correct country that you're currently located, click on the settings at the bottom here and from here go to country and region and choose the country that you want to uh, locate or you want to choose. Now in this case, I choose Australia here, that's why the option for earn credits and free gifts is enabled on me so for now let's go and click on it and from here you want to choose what way or what price or what 
and what way you want to earn. So in this case, we have uh, all items free, which is five free gifts. We have a uh, win for freebies, redeem cash here. So in this case, maybe we want to try redeem cash here. So let's go ahead and click on get now. And from here, what we need to do is we just need to click on the refer friends button that you see at the bottom uh, center of your screen. And from here, you have the option to share this to Snapchat chats, WhatsApp, Messenger, TikTok, Instagram Direct, Facebook, X, and X message. Now, if you don't see the application here, just choose the copy link here and you'll be able to share this to your friends. And once they click on that link, you'll be able to receive a spin for your account here. So for each successful referral, you'll be able to gain a spin here and you'll be able to use that spin to earn stars here and for you to basically er start earning people balance. But yeah, so that's about it. How to refund or return items on Timu. In this case, how do we make a refund or return items on Timu? Well, returning items in Timu or refunding an item is actually pretty easy. So first things first is you need to open up the Timu mobile app. Let's go ahead and click on Timu here and open it up. Now from the main menu, what we need to do is we need to view our orders. So at the bottom center of the screen, go ahead and click on the U tab. And from here, what we need to do is we need to go to the Your Orders section. So let's go ahead and click on it. Now from here, what we need to do is we need to look for the order that we want to return or refund. Now, in this case, there are going to be a specific a time frame for specific orders that you made on your account. So meaning some orders might not be eligible, especially if your order was uh, like a few months ago. So especially it's really, really important that once you want to make a return or refund, make sure to do it immediately. In this case, maybe I want to return one of the recent items or package that I actually ordered. So let's go and click on return slash refund in there. And from here, it's going to say, or it's going to ask you, have you received your package? So in this case, let's go and click on yes, I received that. But if you answered no here, go ahead and answer no. And from then on, you should be able to see next screen, which in this case, it will actually immediately uh, redirect you to our page. Where in this case, uh, you'll be able to make a report that you didn't receive your package, though they, they will actually process and assess on how they will actually make a refund for you. In this case, just in case, like for example, you just answer yes here, this is how it's going to look like. So in this section here, we need to choose the item that we want to return. So if you have multiple items here, go ahead and select that. For, for now, I just want to select one item here, which is going to be Wi-Fi Smart Socket. So in this case, my uh, Wi-Fi Smart Socket here, it doesn't actually work. So it's actually actually uh, faulty here. So now it's going to ask us how, the reason for the return. In this case, let's go and select the reason here. So there's going to be a lot of reasons that you can uh, basically uh, do here. So in this case, maybe I want to say the item is defective or doesn't work. Let's go and choose that and just click on confirm. And from here, we need to provide some uh, uh, the uh, some photos or uh, comments in here so for us to make our claim or our return a lot stronger because they will be reviewing your uh, request here first before it's actually approved or you'll be able to actually have your return. In this case, maybe I want to comment here. Let's just say uh, item doesn't work and automatically shuts down. Now from here, we also want to actually uh, specify how our, or uh, basically attach photos or videos of the product that is currently faulty. Let's go ahead and do that. So when attaching or adding videos in here, you have the option to either upload from your album or take a photo via your camera. In this case, I actually uploaded from my uh, uh, gallery here. So this is just an example. That's why I uploaded that photo. But for now, let's go ahead and click on next step at the right bottom right of your screen. Now from here, it's going to give you some information or return information here. So in this case, make sure to read all of the details I have here. For example, you are eligible for one free return of one or multiple items for every order. So meaning you won't have to pay anything when you actually make an, uh, a return on one of your orders. Now the uh, options or the return policies here or return information might be different on different regions. But in this case, in this row, this is how it actually works. But for now, let's go ahead and click on next here. And from here, you should be able to see the option here that in this case, you'll be able to select your payment or the method that you want to have your refund. So in this case, you could use or have a, a Timu credit balance here, which in this case, you'll be able to receive in seconds, which is in this case will never expire. 
Also, you have the option here to uh, have your original payment method as a means of returning your funds. In this case, go ahead and choose that and just click on submit. And if you choose either Timo credit balance here or original payment method, which in this case, uh, you should be able to uh, basically have your funds. Again, if you choose original payment here, they will review that first and process it. So it might take a few days or a few weeks. Like for example, right now, it's going to take around uh, June 6 or June um, 19, which is around two weeks from the creation of this video. But yeah, so in this case, just click on submit here and that would actually process your return or refund in Timo. How to return Timo items. So how do you return Timo items? So this one is pretty easy. So first thing that we want to do is we want to go ahead and open up our Timo mobile application. Now from the Timo mobile application, you'll be led into the home screen here. So what you need to do is you need to access your account. So your account is going to be the U at the very bottom center of your screen. Now once you click on it, you need to locate your orders section. So in this case, it's going to be under messages. So go ahead and click your orders. And from here, this is where you'll be able to see all of the orders or all of your purchases that you've done now in this case if you want to return an item you need to just look for the item here and from there you just need to select that item and you'll be able to see a button that says return order now in this case since i haven't bought anything in this account i am unable to see it but whenever you look in this section here you should be able to see the return order button in your screen now from there once you click on return order you will be asked to provide necessary details so that includes the reason of return and other information now once you've provided all those details and followed the steps for you to return that item you should just wait for your order or your return to be processed and you should be good and that's about it how to make money on timo app so in this case, if you're not familiar yet, Timu is a very popular app wherein you'll be able to buy different products and basically buy them for cheap, which is a really great thing because people like cheap products. Now, in this case, we are in the Timu website here, which is timu.com. And immediately here on the homepage for Timu, we could immediately see the products that they are currently selling. Like for example, we have this massager here, which includes 1,000 reviews. So think about the revenue that they are actually bringing in into their platform here. So it means there are a lot of people who are definitely using Tibu. Now, in this case, how do we take advantage on that or just basically joining in with the trend right now? So in this case, there's actually a way for us to make money on Timu without actually being a seller on it because another way for you to earn money on Timu is just be basically being a seller around Timu. But we also have the other option here, which in this case, I'll be showing you later on. Now in here, let's just scroll down a bit to view the other sections here for Timu. Now, Timu also offers different categories, so they have a wide range of products here like instru musical instruments, clothing for women, clothing for men, industrial and commercial here, and even shoes and electronics here, which gives them the capacity to cater to different age groups or different communities that is available. Now in this case, let's just scroll down a bit here until we get to the very bottom because that's where we'll be going to. Now, sometimes when you go to the very bottom here, it's going to reload itself and show other products. But once it actually ends, you should be able to see the current information here, which is the footer. Now, from here, what we need to do is we need to search for a very specific keyword here, which is going to be affiliate and influencer program. So in this case, let's go ahead and click on it. So by the way, if you don't see the option here that says affiliate and influencer program, then most likely the 
affiliate program is not available on the current region that you've set your Timu account here. Now in this case, when you go to the very top here, you should be able to see an icon for the specific country. Now currently Timu on my end is actually set to Australia. So if you want to change that, you could go and click on change country and region. And from here, choose a country that is supported by Timu affiliate. But for now, let's just go back into the affiliate program UI here. So in this case, you'll be able to earn up to 100,000 AOD or Australian dollars per month, depending on how you perform within their platform. So for now, let's go ahead and click on sign up to earn. And from here, we need to lock in. So in this case, I'm going to click on Google here and I'm going to choose my Google account. So let's go ahead and choose this one. And once you've done that, let's just wait for it to load up properly and you should be able to see the main UI for your affiliate program. Now, also when you first open this up, you'll be able to see their policy here. So I do recommend that you read through all of this one before accepting for you to be able to protect yourself if you find something that you do not agree on. So that is oh, that actually applies on any any platform that you apply to but for now let's go ahead and click on accept and from here we want to go ahead and click on the x button at the top right first so first things first i'm going to explain you what is the things that's going on right now on our dashboard here now in this case we have our affiliate program section here so currently i have three dollars or strand dollars here currently available in my account but i also have the pending section and the withdrawn now from the name itself pending is going to be the cash that is currently pending when we try to withdraw and withdrawn is what you've recently or what the total if you've actually cashed out now, if you want to withdraw your cash, just click on withdraw via PayPal and just follow the steps for you to withdraw your cash. Now, here, when you scroll down a bit more, it says that you can earn the following. So up to, up to 20% commissions per new user order via your code that we'll be seeing later on. Now, we also have the download reward here, which is going to be $3. And from there, per new application and do download and log in via the affiliate link that we'll be getting later on, you'll be able to earn three Australian dollars, which is a very good deal because you just need to share that specific link for you to start earning. Now, also, you have the following event here, which is the referral race, wherein you'll be able to earn bonuses via this specific event here so currently there's a timer for it like for example we only have a four hours for us to get those bonuses via this specific race here now once we scroll up here we'll be able to see different information as well now here we have share to earn so like what i said before we have links and codes that we could share to other people like for example if you want to share your link go ahead and click on copy here and from here, you can go ahead and choose whatever platform here if you want to share this to other platform. Now, currently, we have X, Facebook, Pinterest, and email in here. Now, also, we have our code here. If you want to share that, click on copy here. And same thing, you can go ahead and choose whatever platform here. But if you click on share to earn here, same thing, same uh, pop up. What you need to do is just either click on copy link or copy code here. And from there, you could go ahead and start sharing this to your friends, your family members, or even to people that you want to basically advertise this on. Now here, we also have the your referrals benefits section here. So currently through your link, a 100 Australian dollars coupon bundle will be added also and a redeem code that is 30% off will also be available. So in this case, how do we maximize on sharing this link here? So I would suggest you whenever you share your link that you make sure that you actually mention one of the benefits of actually using your link here like for example like what we mentioned before we have the true your link 100 dollars coupon bundle here as well as a 30 percent off redeem for your code so regardless on what type of a link they access here maybe your code or your link you'll be able to start earning via their sign up 
Now in this case, when you start sharing your link, I would suggest that you build a platform first. Now first things first is you want to basically determine where you want to share this link here. An example for it is TikTok. So TikTok is a very popular app wherein you'll be able to share funny things or even just share products there and add a link on that specific post or regarding your link. Like for example, you just share a product from Timu here and you could go ahead and start adding those links into the description itself. Now, in this case, you could go ahead and use Instagram as well, which is a great uh, platform to share links or even products. And from there, just include the links on the post that you'll be uh, getting for you to basically start promoting your link here. How to drop ship on Timu. So, this going so in this case, you might be wondering, how do you drop ship in Timu? So, currently, directly drop shipping from Timu is actually uh, kind of not possible as of this moment, but there's going to be some things that you can do to uh, make a workaround around this one. So, currently, we'll be using Shopify. Now, in this case, how do we actually get started? So, first things first is you need to have an account on Timu. So, in this case, make sure that you have an account. In this case, at the top right here, you should be able to see your name here. Or if you haven't logged in first, you should be able to see the sign in or sign up button in here. But once you've created your account, we're now ready to start adding our Timu products into our Shopify store. Now, what we need to do here is we need to go to our Shopify store here. So go to Shopify.com, log in into your account, and also make sure that you have your initial setup done. In this case, once you've done that, let's go to our product section here. And under products, what we need to do next is we need to look for products that we want to add. Now, in this case, let's go back to Timo here. Now, in this case, what we need to do next is we need to search for a product that we want to include. So, for example, let's just scroll down a bit here and maybe we want to have this product here. Let's go ahead and click on it. Now, once you click on that product, you should be able to see a list of products here. So, by the way, if you are going to the deal section here, it's going to give you the store itself. But let's go ahead and click on the actual product here. And as you can see, there are going to be some details that you, be, you should be able to see regarding this product. So what we need to do first is we need to copy the title of the product. In this case, let's go and copy the title itself. Right click on it, click on copy. Let's go and go back into our Shopify store and click on add product. Now what we need to do next is we just need to add our title and also the description. Let's go and go back to our product here. Scroll down a bit here and look for the description section. Now in this case, make sure to include all the details that you'll be seeing here. And as you can see, here's the details section. So in this case, let's go and click on see more. Let's go ahead and copy all the information that you see here. In this case, let's go and copy this one. Go back into our Shopify store, paste it, and also include any images that you see there. Now in this case, once you've done that, all we need to do is we need to fill out all the details. In this case, let's go ahead and go back to your product itself. And from here, let's go ahead and choose this product here. Right click on it. And from here, let's go ahead and open this in the new tab. And from here, I click on it again and click on save image. And from here, we want to click on save. Now from here, let's go back to our Shopify store. Click on upload new. And from here, let's go ahead and go to the location where we have our image. And from here, we should be able to see it. So if you don't see it, make sure to you are in the correct folder. Now, by the way, if the image is in this format here, what you need to do is you just need to open up your snip here on your windows. And from here, let's go ahead and make sure to have a snip of that specific image. So let's go ahead and snip this image here. And from here, let's go ahead and click on the file at the top left here. Click on save as. And from here, let's go ahead and go, go ahead and save this on downloads. And let's just say this is going to be a hoodie. So let's, let's go ahead and include the color itself. And from here, let's go ahead and click on save. Now let's go ahead and go back into our Shopify store. Click on upload new again. Go to your downloads here and click on the hoodie. Click on open and it should start uploading the image itself as you can see right now. Now also we need to include the pricing itself. So to uh, um, basically identify the pricing of that product is you just need to look at the product itself. And as you can see currently it's, it's being sold as $10.89 as of this moment. So in this case, uh, you could go ahead and just indicate whatever price they have here. But we want to actually add, add, add a little here since we want to have some form of income from it. 
So let's just say it is going to be around $12. Now also, if you want to make this on sale, you can just click on the compare at price here. And basically, uh, whenever you include a compare at price here, it's going to be included as a, a different uh, price. In this case, maybe we want to add 15 here and just indicate that 12 is the going, it's going to be the price itself. Now, in this case, you could also uh, indicate the cost per item here, the profit, the margin itself if you want to. And also, we have the track quantity itself if you want to. So in this case, uh, if you want to, uh, we want to uh, basically add the following. So maybe we are going to only sell like 10 pieces of this product here. And also, we need to include some shipping uh, details here. In this case, let's go and go back into our product here. So in this case, we need to look for a uh, specific weight for this product here. So usually, you should be able to see it in the details section. But if you don't see it, you could go ahead and just look for some other sections here that may include some of the details that, the, uh, that we are requiring here. In this case, let's go ahead and look for it here. So if you don't see the weight on the actual product page here, what you, you could do here is you could just start using Google to estimate the actual weight. So typically, Sudis are going to be around 0.5 or around 0.45. So in this case, let's go ahead and just include that it's going to be around 0.45 or 45 here. In this case, you could go ahead and add custom information if you want to and add variations if you want to. Now, in this case, variations is a great way for you to determine if the hoodie is going to be gray, black, white, or brown. So for example, I'm just going to add gray here. And I also want to, uh, let's just say I'm going to add si uh, size or color first. In this case, let's go ahead and add gray here. And we also want to add also black. In this case, let's go ahead and click on done. Now, if you want to add another option, let's go and click on add another option. And we will also want to include sizes. In this case, let's go and go back into our product here. And what we need to do is we need to choose products. So currently, you could choose from the following sizes here. So in this case, we want to go to standard here. And we have small, medium, large, XL, and XL. XL. So in this case, let's go ahead and choose size here. And we want to add small, medium, large. And we also want to include extra large and also extra extra large. Now, once you've done that, let's go ahead and just click on done. And as you can see, we now have added our variants. Now, in this case, now from here on, you could just click on the save at the bottom right here. And once you've done that, your product should now appear on your product page. Now, in this case, uh, how do you actually start uh, delivering your products to your clients? Well, in this case, what you need to do is you just need to wait for them to actually order something from your store. In this case, typically, whenever someone actually orders from your store, it should appear here in the order section. And typically, this will also include their details. So, it includes their address and some information that you need to make the order itself. So, once you receive the order, you can just go back into your team account. Just click on Add to Cart. And from here, what we need to do is we need to choose the correct information here that you've chosen from your store. And from here, let's go ahead and click on Add to Cart. Now, in this case, once it's actually added to your cart, what we need to do is go back into our page here, click on the cart at the top right here. And from here, what we need to do next is we just need to select the products that we want to ship out. In this case, make sure to select the product itself. And from here, what we need to do is you just need to uh, basically uh, check out. Timu affiliate program, how do you join their affiliate program? In this case, you might be wondering what is Timu and what is Timu's affiliate program? Well, Timu is like a platform similar to Amazon. So they are going to be a competitor of Amazon here. And Timu is actually rapidly growing here. There are going to be, or there's a lot of users currently using Timu right now. Now, in this case, for you to maximize, or in this case, start using their affiliate program, what we need to do first is we need to go to timu.com. And from here at the very bottom, you should be able to see a section for affiliate programs. Now, it should be on the footer itself. So typically, it's going to be on the company info and affiliate and influencer earn commission section. 
Now, once you click on it, you should be able to see this page here that says Earn Commissions with Timu Affiliate and Influencer. In this case, you go and click on Get Started here for you to get started with their affiliate program. But just to give you some information, the affiliate program itself might not be available on every country. So make sure to check first if it's actually available. Now, if you do see the affiliate and influencer section here, it means the affiliate program for Timo is available on your country and you don't have to worry about that. Now, in this case, once you click on get started, this is what you'll be seeing here. Now, in this case, how do you start the affiliate program here? There are going to be multiple ways on how to use their affiliate program. So first is through the affiliate section here. So we have three tabs or three sections here that we could use. So the affiliate section actually allows you to share coupon bundles, even share free gifts here, 30% off or even just a percentage off like discounts. You could basically share this to other people. Now, the great thing about this platform, or in this case, Timu, is uh, you could actually leverage, or in this case, you could earn on the program itself, and people that actually use your link or use your code could actually earn as well. So they could get discounts or even uh, some form of um, gift that they could use or get from the platform itself. Now, in this case, if you want to share it, you could go ahead and click on the share button here that you see next to the referral section. So for example, you can go and click on share here. And from here, you should be able to see the share option here, which in this case, you should be able to see the uh, actual code itself and also uh, share this on Facebook, X, Pinterest, or even via email. Or you could just basically copy this text here and share this to the uh, platform that you want to share it to. Now, in this case, uh, depending on the current region that you have, you could earn a specific amount on your uh, specific um, links here. So, for example, you could earn up to, like, for example, 100, 100 pound, depending on your current region. So, in this case, the earn potential here would depend on the region itself as well as uh, the how much or how active you are on sharing your links. Now, in this case, that is the first option for you to actually start earning. So whenever someone uses your link or your code, you should be able to earn some balance on it. Like, for example, download reward is around nine, uh, 90 Philippine peso here, in my case, so which is 30% commission. Now, in this case, uh, if you use the pick items option here, it's uh, it, actually, it actually allows you to basically share a specific reward or in this case a exclusive deal to different people and basically uh, get a commission for that like for example for this shoe you could earn up to 192.6 uh flipping peso here if you actually share this to other people and actually people actually start using that specific link or code that you have so in this case, you can go and click on the earn up to uh, option here. And from here, you can go and share your QR code or save this image here and start sharing this to other platforms. Now, this is the second way here. Now, you could also use free gifts here. All, all or men accessories or you can even choose different categories here or in this case the hot one is going to be the exclusive deal as well. Now, you could also share uh, basically search for items here if you want to. Now. You could also earn on the invite affiliate. So meaning you could actually invite different people to be an affiliate within the platform itself. So in this case, you could uh, for, for your first invite, you can earn up to 825 Philippine peso. Again, this depends on your current region. So in my case, this is what I'll be able to earn on the platform itself. So in this case, it also gives you the invitation guide here. So you could earn up to uh, the following amount here and invite new affiliate with over 1,000 followers on the following, uh, following platforms here. So maybe on YouTube or even TikTok or even Instagram, depending on the platform that you want to start promoting Timu at. So in this case, earn up to 75 to invite a new affiliate who has earned a commission in the affiliate program that Timu has. Now in this case, if you want to start uh, basically sharing this, you're sharing your link, just click on invite to earn here. Again, you should be able to get your link here. Now, you could also get the exclusive benefit for new affiliates here, which in this case, a welcome gift here, free credits and commissions. So you could share your link as well and your code. Now, in this case, you might be wondering, how do you maximize your sales here? How do you actually uh, get those people to start joining the or start using your affiliate links and or in this case, your code for your affiliate affiliate program here in Timu? Well, in this case, like what I mentioned before, there are going to be a lot of platforms that you could use like YouTube, TikTok or even Instagram. 
Now, in this case, the first thing you want to do here is you want to basically uh, choose your niche. So we all know that there are going to be different uh, kinds of content creator out there. Some of them show their faces and some of them don't. But the most common thing that you see or basically see on this uh, content creators is, the, is they actually have a specific niche. Like for example, some of them has a, uh, a, a they do are they are doing like a few things for clothes. They might be doing for a few things for or like for example products or just mugs or ha household items or even some uh, makeup kit uh, makeup kit here so again make sure to choose your niche first now once you know what your niche is you first need to uh, basically create your own account next so in this case maybe on Timu or in this case TikTok or YouTube or in whatever platform itself you need to create your account and start posting your videos now again, like what I mentioned before, you don't necessarily need to provide your face or in this case show your face on the video itself. As you can see, there are going to be a lot of people that could show uh, that actually shows their face. This is just a plus, but some users or content creators don't actually show their face. As you can see, they only have or they are only showing their hands on the video itself, which in this case you could actually do that uh, within the platform itself. But then again, uh, if you show your face, that is a plus because so, uh, they will be able to uh, see a human person actually uh, promoting it. But yeah, so in this case, once you've uh, actually created your account, start posting uh, videos on it. You make sure to be consistent whenever you're posting content. So make sure like for example, if you're posting every Wednesday, uh, Wednesday, Monday, and Friday, make sure to be consistent with that so that you'll be able to have a fixed uh, stream of uh, visitors on your affiliate links so that you won't be missing much. Also, if you're like, for example, if there are specific trends out there, make sure to ride the wave for those trends because the more or the more like because if you ride that specific wave, the more likely that you get or your videos will get viral. So in this case, if your videos get viral, that will actually benefit you in your affiliate program, which in this case, you could basically maximize your earnings here on the program itself. But in this case, that's about it. How to apply for Timu Delivery Driver. In this case, you might be wondering, how do you apply for a delivery driver job for Timu? Well, it's kind of complicated, but kind of simple as well. So first things first, we first need to open up any browser here and you want to go to google.com and search for the following, which is going to be Timu Careers. Let's go and open up the first link here for the careers page for Timu. Now, as you can see in the careers page for Timu, we have three options. We have senior tax analyst, user research, as well as account manager as a way for you to get a job on Timu. But the option for a delivery driver on Timu is not exactly in here. So currently, for you to be a delivery driver for Timu, you need to contact the third party that actually has partnership with Timu for you to be a delivery driver on uh, for Timu itself. So this will depend on the current country that you're currently at. That's what I mentioned. That's why I mentioned before. It's quite complicated, but as well quite simple. So in this case, you first need to know what is the carrier or courier where the Timu has partnership with for that specific country. Now you need to make an application for them and basically join their team. So just think of the example. One of them is going to be Gomo or Drive Gomo. So in this case, it actually allows you to uh, basically uh, do uh, deliveries within the platform itself. So in this case, if you want to apply for them, you could go ahead and apply for the actual platform itself. Again, like what I mentioned before, you need to know what courier is going to be or what courier Timu has partnership with for you to uh, basically be a, dri a delivery driver for Timu itself. But in this case, that's about it. How to cash out Timu earnings to people. So how do you cash out team earnings to people? Well, this one is pretty easy. The first thing that you want to do here is you want to have the latest updated mobile application or the updates for the team mobile application. So make sure that you have the latest updates. Now, from here, we want to access the application itself. So go ahead and open up the team mobile application and log in if you're into your account if you haven't logged in. Now here, we want to access the U tab at the bottom side of your screen and from here you want to access the earn credits and free gifts now from here we want to access the section that says redeem cash click on get now 
and from here you'll be able to see this page here so currently with how this works is you need to refer friends for you to get spins so whenever you spin in the roll here you'll be able to earn coins and whenever you earn coins you'll be able to earn our PayPal credits here. So as you can see, we need at least 150 coins for you to earn one Australian dollar. Now, in this case, for you to cash out your team earnings, you just need to have at least 150 coins here. And to get that, you need to spin. And to get spins, you need to refer friends. So I suggest you use the messenger or the copy link option that you see there at the bottom of your screen. And from there, you just send it to your friends or family. And once they accept it, you'll be able to earn spins here. Now, once you get enough coins, what you need to do here is just click on the redeem button that you see on your screen. And from there, you just need to follow the on-screen steps for you to redeem or cash out your team earnings to people. And that's about it. How to withdraw Timu credit balance. So the first thing we need to do here is we first have to know if it's actually possible for us to withdraw our credit balance in Timu. So first things first, let's go, go ahead and open up Timu here. And from here, let's go ahead and go to the U tab at the bottom of your screen. Now from here, we need to go to the credit balance section. So let's go ahead and click on it. And as you can see, this is where you'll be able to see your total credit balance. Now, depending on your region, the actual balance or currency that you'll be seeing here might be different for you. So, for example, since I'm using a team of Israel here, it's going to say AU, which is Australian dollars. Now, as you can see, there's no button here that says withdraw. So, in this case, we are wondering why. Why, we can't, why can't we actually withdraw this one? So this is actually directly from Timu themselves. This is from their official website. So currently, can you actually withdraw your cash here on Timu? Well, the direct answer to that is not. You will not be able to actually withdraw your balances on Timu. But in this case, the great thing about Timu here is your credit balance here does not expire. So if you want to buy something in the future in Timu, then you could just basically use it on another date. So they don't expire, but you won't be able to basically withdraw it from your Timu account, which is something really unfortunate. But again, it does not expire. So sometime in the future, if you want to buy something, you'll be able to start using it in Timu itself because credit balance within Timu are only usable within the platform itself. But yeah, so that's about it. How to remove debit or credit card on Timu. So first thing that we have to do here is we need to open up the Timu mobile application. So go ahead and open it up. And from here, you should be redirected to the main home screen in Timu. And this is how it's going to look like. Now from here, what we need to do is we need to access the U tab at the bottom center of your screen. But once you click on it, you should be able to see these different options here. So what we need to do is we need to scroll down a bit until we see the settings there. Just go ahead and click on it. And from here, you should be able to see the option that says your payment methods. So go ahead and click on it. Now, in this case, this page is going to be a protected page. So I won't, I won't be able to show you exactly what's going to look like in a mobile. But in this case, you'll be able to see all of the payment methods that you have, it, you have added into your account. Now, in this case, since this is where we could add our payment methods, this is also where we could basically remove our payment methods. And from here, you could go ahead and just choose the option that is for deleting this payment method. Now, if you're wondering how to do this on PC, I'll be showing you how to do that. Now, first thing, what we need to do is go to tmu.com. And uh, from here, we just need to log in. Now, at the top section of your screen, you should be able to see your profile icon as well as your name. So go ahead and click on any of the options here. You could go ahead and click on your orders. And from here at the left side, you should be able to see an option that says your payment methods. Again, what I said before, this screen is where you'll be able to see all of the payment methods that you have on your account. And this is where you also be able to remove those payment methods. And that's about it. How to delete a Timu account. So how do you delete your Timu account? Well, this one is pretty easy. First thing that we want to do is we want to access the Timu mobile application. 
Now from here, what we need to do is you'll be redirected to the main homepage here, wherein you'll be able to see different items. Now from here, you need to access the U tab at the bottom center of your screen. And from here, you need to look for the option that says settings. So it's going to be at the very bottom or the bottom option here, just under customer support. So go ahead and click on it. Now from here, we want to access our account security because deleting your team account involves the security of your account. So go ahead and open it up. Now from here, you see different options like details of your email, password, and social sign in if you've linked your account. Now in this case, at the very bottom, you have the option to delete your Timo account. So go ahead and click on it. Now from here, it's going to give you about a few information on uh, deleting your Timo account. So if you wish to permanently delete your account, please know that all data and content in your account will be deleted forever and may not be recovered. So you need to take note of that. Deleting your account will, meaning all of the data you have in your account will be deleted. So it's subject for recovery. So if you really want to do this, you just need to make sure that you add a uh, check next to the I want to permanently delete my team account and all its data and just hit on continue and you'll be able to delete your account. And that's about it. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video and thought it helpful, you could use the link in the description to subscribe. See you in the next video.